Hey babes, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing an affordable drugstore makeup tutorial where everything that I purchased, every single item was $10 or less. And I'm so freaking proud of myself because usually I just don't put myself on any type of mental budget when I'm looking for something new. I just go looking for it and if I find it and it works, I buy it. So I really thought this was a great challenge for myself especially at times like this where it's a lot going on and girls definitely want to save their coin so if you guys are interested in seeing how i got this affordable drugstore makeup look with only using items that were ten dollars and under then definitely keep on watching All right, so as i mentioned in my intro today's video we're going to be doing a drugstore makeup tutorial like oh my god and everything that i bought is under ten dollars so let's just get into it i'm super super excited i am gonna do my brows as you guys can see i don't have on any brows because of course i want to talk about the brow product i'm going to be using so for today's brows we're going to be using the la girl brow bestie i got the color medium brown so i'm just gonna go through and brush my brows into place now one thing i want to mention my skin is going haywire okay like hey wire my skin is just i don't know i don't know if it looks that bad to you guys but this side of my face has just been going crazy um yeah so i'm working on getting my skin back together i do have a couple of products that i'm using and once i see that the products are working you guys know i will talk about them i've been trying to do like this whole natural brow thing because i as you can see i have pretty nice brows but i love love to fill them in so i'm gonna try to do a nice light brow so the LA Girl Brow Bestie actually reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills when they have like the little triangle um, tip and they have that same tip on here. This is actually a pretty nice color and it actually glides on pretty, pretty smooth. All right, so now that I have my brow shape for the most part, I'm gonna go ahead of course and clean them up. I'm only gonna do underneath. I'm not gonna do the top half because we wanna keep it pretty soft. So I'm actually going to go ahead and use the foundation that we're going to be using for this tutorial. And we're going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. And this is for normal to oily skin. Um, I'm an oily skin girl. I get it right here in my T-zone. So I'm going to be using this to basically carve out underneath my brows only. So for our primer, I'm going to be taking this LA Girl Pro Prep HD High Definition Smoothing Face Primer. So if you guys have ever used the Lancome La Base Face Primer, this is very similar to that. There is a huge dot on my hand. It's super clear. And what the La Base Primer does, it smooths out the texture in your skin and kind of fills in the lines. So of course you guys already know I'm going to use the foundation by Maybelline Fit Me. This is the color 312 Golden Dory. And of course it's the matte poreless because I have oily skin. So this is what we're going to be using. It has more of like a golden yellow undertone. Now with this foundation, it is up to medium coverage, which I never knew when I first started wearing this foundation. So and you guys know I'm a full coverage girl at this point in my life. I love full coverage. All right, so my first impression is that the coverage is really nice and it works really well with that LA Girl primer. Like how it lays on top, it works really nice. So of course to set my makeup, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Maybelline Fit Me. This is the matte and poreless powder as well. I bought this one in 310 Sun Beige. This definitely mattifies any shine you have in your skin. I don't know if I love that or I hate that. I do like a powder to leave me a little bit of shine. I don't want it to take away everything. 
but I mean that's the purpose of the matte poreless all right so next we're gonna go in with our Maybelline concealer this is in the color 25 medium now I'm not too sure about this color I'm really hoping it works out they only had six colors available and I only had between light medium and medium and comparison with the foundation that I had and I compared them in store as much as possible this seemed like it would be the right choice so fingers crossed it's not too dark because I needed to highlight my skin and not dull it out And yeah, this is also a super thin formula as well. Like I'm used to my concealers being a little bit thicker. All right, so I like the way it blends out, but this is so... This is a little too natural for me. Well, a lot, it's a lot too natural for me. So I'm going to see if I can find some type of drugstore concealer in my makeup bag and I'll be right back. All right, so I have this LA Girl Pro Concealer, the high definition concealer. You guys remember, this one was like all the rage like a few years back, like they literally came through and shut it down with this concealer. So. This one is called Creamy Beige. Okay, now this may do the trick and get me a brighter effect. So I'm going to use my Airspun setting powder. You guys already know I use this a lot in my videos. This is the Naturally Neutral. So I'm going to use this. Full Spectrum CoverGirl Scopes Expert Bronzer. And yeah, we're gonna use this to bronze up our cheekbones. Okay, so next we're gonna take this blush called Essence and it's called The Blush and the color is called Befitting. And it's like a brown, it's like a brownie pink. So very much along the lines of what I already wear currently. And let's see about how the color is. Oh, okay. All right, blush. Okay, Essence, come through. Little $3 blush. All right, so next we're going to switch gears a little bit and we're going to start on our eyes before we go ahead and finish the rest of our face. So for our eyes, I'm gonna use this Milani eyeshadow primer. So <laughs> we picked up another LA Girl product, which is the Get Feverish Eyeshadow Palette. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and take this color right here. Okay, that's really nice. 
So the next shade we're going to go ahead and take, we're going to take this one right here. This is like a deep burnt peach. And I'm just going to go ahead and place that right beneath our previous shade. All right, so the last color I'm gonna take is this shade right here, and I'm gonna apply this across my lid, of course. So for my liner, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Old Faithful, my NYX Gel Liner. So for mascara, I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara. Oh my god, this looks so dry. And this supposed to be brand new? This look dry. Mm -mm, I don't know about this mascara. This even go on like it's dry. Like, I cannot know. This looks so dry. Um, while my lashes are drying, we're going to go ahead and get ready for our lashes, of course. Um, you guys see me use these lashes so much in my videos. I'll talk about these lashes a lot. These are the Kiss Lash Couture Faux Mink Lashes, and I got mine in Gala. Okay, so for our lip combination, we're going to use the LA Girl Perfection Precision Lip Liner. This is the one in Bare. I'm going to use my Morphe Lip Gloss in Flower Crown. And then for our lipstick, we're going to use LA Girl in nudie so we're going to use these three now this lip liner is definitely a pretty color but it does tug a little bit during the application process and i really don't like any type of liner that tugs on my lips All right, so our lashes should be dry by now, so we should be able to just go ahead and just lay these on really quickly. Okay, so here are our lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and try to put some of this dry mascara on my bottom lash line. To highlight, oh my God, I almost forgot this. This is the Essence Pure Nude Sunlight Palette. And this is how this palette looks. I think this palette is so pretty and it has so much potential so I'm really hoping it is going to perform for me I'm pretty much going to take a combination of all of them I'm gonna start with the darkest one and just work my way up Wow this palette oh my god this palette this go get this this palette pure essence pure new sun lighter palette is showing out oh my god okay so let's go on to the next one okay so i'm gonna take these highlighters and i'm also gonna put them in my inner corner and my brow bone as well So the last thing I'm going to do is take my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray. And of course, this is going to set our makeup. Oh, it kind of stinks. It kind of smells like 
alcohol. All right, babes, so here we are, and we are back with the final look, and wow. If you bought every single item that I use, your total would be under $100. I used about 17, 18 different products, and I just can't believe it. Like, wow, this look came out amazing. Just impressed me overall. So if you guys loved my drugstore makeup tutorial with everything being under $10, please give me a huge thumbs up and make sure you're subscribing. And of course, make sure you are keeping yourself sane as we are doing this self in-home um, quarantine thing right now. So just make sure you are keeping yourself sane. I hope this content entertained you. Of course, I will have new content coming up as well. So definitely make sure your notification bell is on. So when those new videos are uploaded, you will be the first to know. So yeah, you guys, I love you guys and stay safe. And that's it. Bye guys.